and welcome to Astronomy Spotlight. My name is Kirk Rosberg. I'm the Planetarium Coordinator here at the Hastings Museum. And this is the October edition of Astronomy Spotlight. Uh, this is the month that comet enthusiasts have been waiting for for, well, quite a long time, actually, uh, because this is the time that Comet C2023A3 to Shinchen Atlas uh, is either going to dazzle or fizzle. And it could go either way because that's, that's what comets tend to do. They tend to surprise us, uh, either for good or for bad. Uh, it is thought that, uh, we'll just call it Comet C2023A3, uh, is a first time visitor to our solar system from the Oort cloud. Uh, that could be a plus, but it could also be a minus uh, in that it could easily disintegrate before it reaches its closest approach to the sun uh, on September 27th. But it looks very much right now, uh, as of this recording, that it will stay together and uh, could very well be uh, a very bright comet. Comet C2023A3 was discovered in, uh, in early 2023, and the hype actually began not too long after that. Some experts said it would be brighter than Venus, uh, and of course, others would say, well, it may not even reach naked eye brightness. But as of right now, as of the time of this recording, um, the comet has, as I said, stayed together and uh, is starting to get brighter and brighter. So that tends to be a, a good sign. Uh, it might be visible with the unaided eye the last few days of September, right, or at, right after 6.30 a.m. Uh, before the sun comes up, and that would be in the morning, early morning sky, uh, and it could also sport a fairly nice dust tail as well. Now, Stellarium software predicts a magnitude of 0.7, but that is really sort of uh, a guess, although that is, uh, easily naked eye brightness. On October 1 through the 5th, uh, it will be very low in the east uh, and might, might make magnitude 0 0.5 or even 0 0.3 uh, shortly before sunrise. Start looking for the comet in the early evening sky right after sunset, low in the west on October 11th shortly after 7.30 p.m. within the sunset glow. Uh, this is very close to the comet's closest approach to the Earth, uh, which will be on October 12th. Its brightness, if brightness predictions uh, hold up, and of course you never really know, uh, the comet should be visible low in the west, slightly southwest, uh, and again, could be fairly bright uh, around that time. On the 13th through the 16th, the comet will pass basically between two bright objects, Venus at magnitude minus four and the bright orange star Arcturus at magnitude zero. And on Tuesday, October 15th, uh, weather permitting, we will hold a telescope viewing uh, and a live Sky Tonight presentation at Brickyard Park in Hastings starting promptly at 7.30 p.m. Uh, we will be observing the comet from roughly 7.30 to 8 o'clock, and then that will be followed by a uh, kind of pointing out of the constellations with the, uh, the green laser pointer. And that will go to 9 o'clock, and again, that is weather and clouds permitting. The comet will uh, continue to get higher every night, but it will also get dimmer and dimmer each night as it does so. So this is one of those times when we can only hope for the best. Good luck observing what could be the best comet of 2024, or even the decade, or maybe not. Join me again next month for Astronomy Spotlight, and thank you so much for watching.